memory based learning in artificial neural network as the word memory everyone knows about memory memory is to store the information and can retrieve whenever it requires even though the object is not matching exactly even though it is matching approximately still we are able to retrieve the previous previous knowledge for example you consider whenever you have seen your childhood classmate childhood friend are you able to get it exactly or not yes even though childhood friend face is different from present face of your friend still you are able to recognize for example you see so everyone knows this is sachin tendulkar in the childhood this is chaya sachin tendulkar at the age of 35 even though the two faces are little bit different still we are able to match this example that means whenever you retrieve your memory exam memory it need not to match exactly even though it is matching approximately even though it is matching nearly we are able to retrieve its information this the base this basic rule of biological neural network in the memory is using in the artificial neural network also we call it as nearest nearby learning nearest learning in the memory based learning you see all the past experiences are stored in large memory of correctly classified input output examples even though it is not matching exactly even though it is matching approximately we are able to retrieve it is mathematically can be represented as xi di n ranges from uh, i ranges from 1 to n where xi denotes input vector di denotes the corresponding desired response xi is denoted as vector input vector di is the desired response and it is considered as a scalar now you see binary classifications binary classifications you consider two classes class e1 and e2 so consider that e1 contains all zeros and e2 contains all ones and you need to learn a new situation where the training has not provided so we use it local neighborhood of x test you see a memory based learning algorithms two essential ingredients this is important it follows two ingredients two conditions the first condition is first you need to define what criteria we are using to define local neighborhood this is important on what basis you are saying it is local or non local how much distance you are maintaining between these two elements to say they are in the neighborhood that is called as current condition for defining the local neighborhood test of vector x test and the learning rule on what what learning rule we are applying to train our model you call this learning rule these two are the conditions for memory based learning algorithm one is local neighborhood condition for local neighborhood and second one is learning rule the algorithms are differ based upon these two conditions only different algorithms uses different learning rules or different conditions for local neighborhood rules mathematically it can be considered as x dash n belongs to x1 x2 up to xn it is said to be nearest neighbor of xi if d min of xi comma x test equals to d of xn comma x dash test whereas this uh, d uh, d of xi comma x10 is den denoted as euclidean distance between vector xi and uh, x test this is euclidean distance between xi and uh, x test consider a simple example you are considering that binary example it is consists of zeros and uh, ones you consider this uh, dashed circle in the dashed circle zero is almost placed nearer to the outer edge so you, our destination is outer edge so you consider this as the ne nearest neighbor you see they are lying inside the dashed circles two points pertaining class 
1 and out layer from class 0. The point D, point D, this is point D. Point D corresponds to the test vector X test with K equal to 3. Total we have considered 3 elements. K nearest neighborhood, neighbor classifier assigns class 1 to point D even though it lies closest to the outlier. Even though it is lies to the closest to the outlier, still it is considered as class 1. In the class 1, we have considered it as zeros. Now you consider where d of xi comma x test is the Euclidean distance between the vector xi and x test. The class associated with the minimum distance that is the vector x dash n is report, uh, reported as the classification of x test. This rule is independent of underlying distribution responsibility for generating training examples this is independent the nearest neighborhood rule nearest neighbor rule is a tool for pattern classification it is derived by Coverhart in 1967 the analysis is based upon two assumptions first assumption is the classifier example xi di xi is the input vector and di is the destination scalar are independently and identically distributed iid independently and identically distributed according to the joint probability distribution rule the sample size n is infinitely ma infinitely large don't think that sample size is only countable it is infinitely large it gives more accuracy now you see the classifications it is known as K nearest neighbor. K nearest neighbor. In the K nearest neighbor, we proceed with these two rules. First one is identify the K classified patterns which lies nearest to the test vector. Just identify the elements which are nearer to the test vector. And then assign X test to the class. So which, which, cla the, which class it is most matching. We assign it to that matching class which is most frequently represented in the K nearest neighbor. The K nearest neighbor class acts like an averaging device. Thank you.